I'm a fashion and textile designer. My focus is mainly on batik, and batik is actually an ancient art form that uses wax as a medium to create resistance on the dye to create beautiful patterns on the fabric. It started about 10 years ago. I was involved in a car accident. I had two tendons and median nerve cut on my left hand, and that was during the time that I actually really thought about what I wanted to do. I started to pick up sewing actually because of doctor was saying to me you should do something to rehabilitate your hand movement and I thought that was a perfect craft for me to take up. So it was during that time I bought some fabrics and stumbled across batik. It's always been reserved towards traditional wear and I wanted to change that perception. I decided to make it into a sundress at first and then after that I thought to myself, wow, this is amazing. It doesn't have to be confined into something traditional, it could be modernised. Here in Malaysia, batik has been perceived as a very traditional art form, especially when it comes to the younger generation. It's something very dowdy or old-fashioned. I want to make that change. I want it to have a fresh take to it. People can relate to what I'm trying to do. It has broken the boundary into an art form. But it matters to me not just because it is part of our heritage, but it is also an art form. It's a way of me expressing myself on the canvas of the fabric. At some point, but it was seen to be like a dying art form. The artisans are rather suffering in terms of not being able to find a job and you know that the industry is rather small and I'm happy that I'm able to provide that sort of job. And now I'm working with the National Craft Institute to give speeches and to inspire them, to show them that there is a future for batik. I am not just working with artisans of my own, but at the same time, I'm collaborating and working with other artisans. I would like Malaysian batik to be well known around the world, of course. The more I develop my brand, I realise that the perception of people are changing. It is a way of the future in terms of sustainability growth, in terms of being eco-conscious. All of our materials that we produce are all natural materials and that excites me and I would like to show people that it's fashionable, it's eco-conscious, it's, it's everything of what the future fashion should hold.